Welcome to the Security in 5 podcast. I'm Drew, the Binary Blogger. This is a short program bringing you security and IT related news, tips, and guidance in about five minutes. Quick to listen to, easy to understand. This is Security in 5. Thanks for listening. Episode 1309 of Security in 5. Today I want to talk about the holiday season, specifically around sending mail. Now, unfortunately, criminals and hackers and, and bad people are going to use anything they can to take advantage of of the general people, of uh, general population to steal, rob, defraud, etc., etc. Now, when we talk about mailing things, this is a time of year where things are sent in the mail uh, in greater number, greater volume between now and say through January. And with that, there's a lot of ways to get uh, packages into the U.S. Postal Service is really what I'm speaking about. In Europe, you will have uh, something similar with the post over there, uh, I'm certain. But but really what it comes down to is talking about how you get the mail into the system. When I say the system, into the delivery process and uh, be able to get it from point A to point B. Now, in defense, the United States Postal Service in and of itself is a very secure way to send um, data information packages from one to the other. The system, once it's in the system, it's tracked, it's uh, maintained, it's insured. Uh, the, the process to move packages um, around the country very, very quickly is very efficient and, and at the end of the day is, is very secure. Just like a computer, uh, computer network traffic, the packets, you know, or packages, as you want to say, from the start of the journey to get into the network system and once the once the package is delivered, that is where the weakness, where the true weakness comes in. And what I want to talk about here today is um, a suggestion that when we're talking about the blue mailboxes, those are the the drop boxes that are randomly scattered throughout a city, randomly throughout, scattered throughout a neighborhood, and they're picked up on a regular basis. This is the time of year that you probably should think twice, especially depending on the in the in the area or the neighborhood of the cities that you live in, to not use those during uh, during this time of year. And personally, I don't use them at all because they can't truly be trusted because groups of criminals across the country are using the internet, social media, flash mobbing and whatever to coordinate strategic targeting attacks of these collection boxes. Now, these collection boxes, you drop them in the blue and you drop your bills, your mail, um, checks checks to uh, from your grandma, um, packages if they fit. They, they sit there until a, a post office agent can pick them up and some are picked up once a day, some are picked up twice a day, some are picked up um, uh, on a less frequent schedule. Well, attackers know this. So it's very important that if you do use those blue boxes or if you have to, put the mail in there right before they're scheduled to be picked up. The longer that it sits there, the bigger risk it is for them to be potentially stolen. And all it takes is, is, a, <clears throat> is a saw to cut open the box, uh, take the whole box or slice it open and take all the packages out and um, it's really it's a, it's a it's a guessing game of what's in there the 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 process around that is that number one the delivery times are written on all the boxes or they should be number two is if you have to then do it otherwise there are many other secure ways to get the packages into the into the mailing system the first and foremost is that if you are in an area where you have the ability to meet your your uh, uh, postal service agent who are who's delivering the mail to your building or to your house or to whatever hand the package right to them make sure you know of the physical um, handoff happens they scan it in once they scan it in it's in the system the second is to take it to the post office directly uh, sometimes this might be inconvenient it might be farther away i know in my area some of the local post offices have closed so that changes of where packages can be dropped off and picked up <clears throat> but ultimately taking it to t- taking it to the post office which is which is what i do for everything that I mail. I very rarely put anything in, uh, even in my post uh, post box outside my house. I always just take it and 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 take it to that. Um, and then thirdly, when you do deliver these types of things, make sure you have package delivery tracking turned on, confirmation. You know, it's only a few dollars or a few, depending on the size of the package, a few cents more. But um, even though there are convenient ways to do it, unfortunately, you also have to think like the way the criminals do, the way the hackers do and really take a step back and uh, what are you mailing can it be stolen what happens if it does get stolen so don't put anything of sensitivity in these these remote boxes thinking that these boxes are secure it doesn't take a a a lot of complex tools or a lot of time to crack those things open and take everything out there and criminals are doing that and of course during the holiday season the the chances of um, money being sent which you should never do never send or, or if you if you truly have to don't send a lot of cash through the mail 
you know, grandma, grandparents sending cash to the kids that, you know, that's one thing, uh, checks to your bills, uh, or to your, um, uh, utilities or you know, making payments or whatever. <clears throat> At this point, you should be making digital digital payments, online payments, and remove that aspect. Anything of value, packages, presents, gifts, what have you, should be sent to uh, delivered right to the post office and handed ma- manually. Get insured, get tracked, and make sure that you physically hand it to the post office agents. It's in the system, and once it's there, then then it's their problem, and then whatever happens on the on the back end for delivery. But that's it. But Unfortunately, at the end of the day, when we have these holidays, you have to think this way. There's warnings and cautions out there. Um, and really, when you're looking at a mailbox standing there in a random uh, corner, it's convenient to drop it in there if you still send mail that way. But just be aware of what you're sending, the sensitivity of it, the value of it, the monetary value of it. What if it's lost? And just know that there are people out there, unfortunately. Um, the risk isn't zero, but the risk isn't very high. But it's still a risk that if you can take the extra time to do a more proper handoff securely, privately, and ensure that it gets in, getting into the quote-unquote uh, network system of the delivery of the USPS uh, specifically. Or the same goes for, for UPS or FedEx or DHL or whatever. Hand it, give it right to the business, give it right to the agents rather than a, a pickup or a drop-off place that's randomly out there and, and hope that it gets picked up securely and, and doesn't get cracked open because this is the time of year where uh, these types of things are on the increase because they follow what the people are doing Volume goes up, crime goes up. Uh, that's the unfortunate nature of it. But <clears throat> look past that, learn the context behind it, and adjust accordingly. Security in five, be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening. This has been another episode of Security in Five. If you have any questions on today's episode or any suggestions for future content, feel free to drop me a line, reach out to me at Twitter, post a question on the Reddit channel, or go ahead and drop me an email. If you want to continue to support the show, you can head over to the Patreon site. All the links are in the show notes of every episode. And remember, Be aware, be safe. Thanks for listening.